Hey, what's up guys, Shumpster here. Uh, today I figured I'd give you guys a little, like a basic 3D editor intro to get you started. Because I was trying to look up my own stuff, like guides for me when I first got on, and I couldn't really find much, because it's so new. So I figured I'll do like a basic thing of what I've learned so far to kind of get people going if you haven't, if you haven't figured it out yet. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna go into Altus. So you see, you just, I mean, this is basic, but you just click Editor, Altus, or whatever in the three editor. There, those other maps are mods, a lot of modded maps. So, all right. So now you're in the editor. So first off, you can press Q to go up, C to go down. See that? You see on the top right, you have your assets, and left you have your entities, which is going to list stuff. So you'll see in a second that. But so you have all these different units. I have a ton of different ones because they're mods. And these ones are modded ones. But these are all single units. So you have, I mean, single APCs, stuff like that, you know, single. So if I take this, use a rifleman, put it down. You can use a scroll wheel too to go out. That's a single unit, okay? So he's his own squad right now. He's Alpha 1 over. You see it comes up over here. So that's that one squad. Or you could go into F2 up here. Well, We'll start here first. So the single units you have op four, blue four. All these all these will be single units. Independent, civilian, props. Props are like I mean you have walls, a ton of different things, signs, you can just put down whatever things you want. You can put down equipment. That that can you can figure out as you go though. But in, so if you go F two, this is gonna be squads. So when you're in here, you can choose so I can go back down to USA. Army D, which is another mod, and I can choose just like a MG team. See how it's the blue guys now, four of them. So this is one squad now. See how it comes up as Alpha One Two. So this guy's a separate, separate squad altogether. So this guy, you see how if I click on this, all these blue lines are going to him. That that means they're following him. So they're all following his orders. See, how there's no line between these two this guy's not following him at all. So if you get a squad like this and you want, um, say to add people or something, so say if I go back to this, put down one more guy. If you put it down near him, it'll add it. But what you can also do, so I put it down over here, you can hold control and click, whoops, if I can even do it. Oh, that's because I'm, I think it's because I'm a player. No. There you go. Okay, you so hold control and click on the blue dot, and it will drag this little thing out, this little line to group them. And you let go, and that groups those two guys. So now they're going to be Alpha One Three. See that? So I'm just going to delete those two guys and just keep this one fire team. So when you're when you're adjusting people like this, you can adjust the single guy if you double click him. I think you can right click too. Can do like attributes and stuff but if you double click him you can go in here and there's all these different options you can click if you check this box right here this will make you that player so when you when you spawn in as a scenario you'll be that guy or you could check them as playable and that just makes it so if you start a server it you know how it shows like all the different options to click and join in as it'll have these this whole squad is playable so then the nice thing what used to be the thing is in the 2D editor, you would have to click on every single guy and click playable. Well, in this, you can just double click on the leader, click playable. Whoops, did it wrong. You have to do it in this. Okay, so restart. Restart, guys. Here we go. So you double click on the squad up here. See this box? This is like the squad option, so it selects all of them. If I click on one guy, see how it only does one guy? If you double click on the squad, click playable it makes all of them playable so now you don't have to keep going through every single squad to do that so I'm just gonna get rid of that just why not so when you're in that too you can double click and you can change the speed so they walk so if you want like a patrol you can have them walking limited or running um, you can change their fire modes stuff like that so they don't fire and behaviors um, Behaviors have been a little wonky sometimes though, so I might I'd probably just leave that alone. Um, 
So we have this student now. So for single unit, I'm trying to trying to keep organized. I have some notes. Um, for single unit, you can you see in the bottom right when I put my mouse over him, it shows all those options. You can hold Alt, change the altitude. So if you're trying to put someone up into, say, like a like a like a tower, you can drag him up, and he should just snap to the surface. So when you get onto the surface, see how he snaps? It should just do that. You can hold shift, and when you see the little mouse thing is white, you can drag him, change his direction, and all those good things. And also, if you right click, you can go into Arsenal, and that'll bring up the virtual arsenal to change all of his stuff. I'll just load it anyway so you guys can see. See, you can change all of his gear, you can do all that good stuff. So you can do that with any unit. Alright, and if you click up here and drag this, shift, right, hold shift, and then click around, you can rotate the whole unit, the whole squad, I mean. So, now let's set up a little situation here. So these guys, say we're back here, we're coming down this road, and we're coming to check out this house. So... This is very basic, very basic, but I figured I'll show you, because this took me a while to figure out for some reason. I'll show you how to set up a simple trigger. Very simple trigger. So you have triggers right here, right? And you have waypoints. Waypoints are how you would make... So you click on your squad. I think you can just do it by squad lead, but I'm just going to click on the squad. And then you would choose move. And if you click move, once you start the scenario, they're going to move there. That's where they're going to go. So what we want to do... Let's have these guys. Oh, see, I'm not clicking on them. That's why. Have these guys move into this structure. So they're going to move straight there. Now, let's set up. Oh, this might be good. Let's set up some like this. All right. So if you go into compositions, right, this will be groups. So you can have op for its enemy. Blue for an op for will fight. That'll be automatically. What I tried to do one time is independent. And I don't know if you guys will have this issue, but I'll try to fix it. You see how there's insurgents. This is a mod, okay? So you probably you won't have this if you don't have the mod. So don't be like, what? Where is this? But if you click infantry, right? And I want a fire team, so I choose fire team. Click those guys down. Shift, shift click to drag them around. Rotate those guys like that, and you can double click to check settings if you want. I'm going to keep them on open fire because they're not going to see them yet anyway, so they won't fire. So click that. Now these guys, right now, independent and op blue 4 will not fight. If you go into the scenario, they're going to be friends, so you're not going to be able to do anything, even though they're insurgents and you want them to fight. So what you do right here is you go up into attributes up here, click on I think it's multiplayer. I might have to go back out. No, one sec, guys, one sec. Attribute. Which one? Oh, yeah, it is right here. Okay, so attributes. General. See right here where it says miss? Miscellaneous. Independence allegiance. Sets who the independent side will be friendly to. So, see how these guys are shaking hands? This is blue for, this is op for. Click that. You have this cross swords. Now they're going to be enemies. Same thing with uh, off port if you want to change that. So click that, independence now an enemy. Save that. So now independent will fight blue four. So if you didn't know how to do that, that's how you do that to make them fight. So now what we want is we have to set a trigger. So a basic trigger, click this. It's going to be an F3 right here, see? Click this, and you click where you're going to want it to be. You double click the trigger. And you can set the size. I'm gonna put it as a rectangle. Let's put it as like that's that's not gonna be rectangle, but whatever. It's pen, ten by ten. And see the size for that real quick. So you can shift click. Everything is shift click. You can drag it around. So this area, when these guys enter here, it's gonna do something. So what you have to do to make that happen is you go into the type. And because it's independent, you make it guarded by independent. So they're going to be guarding this. And then activated, 
you could put it as anybody. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put it as blue four. There's only blue four right now. That that's just that would just be if there's like more people. And then you put the activation type to present. So activated when objects are in the area. So it activates when they're in the area. So once they walk in there, whatever I want independence to do will be activated once I link it. And that's all you have to do right there. And you press OK. <clears throat> Sorry, losing the voice. So right now I have blue four moving into this camp right there. And when they get in there, I want these guys to do something. So for me to make these guys do something, I have to click on this, go back into my waypoints. And I was trying to mess around to make them hold for a second because sometimes they walk around weird, hold and then do stuff. But it wasn't really working, so I'm going to stick with what I know. And I'm, I'm going to have them move just slightly, just kind of like right on top of themselves. So first, the first thing they're going to do is kind of move right here. And then you do, so what you do is you connect. You have to connect this, this point to this, so that once this is activated, they will move on from this. So they have, you have to right click, go over connect, set waypoint activation. And it brings one of these grouping lines up. So you take this grouping line and you drag it to the blue floor flag. Make sure it says trigger blue floor present and not alpha move because you're selecting the move. And then just click on that and it's going to link these. So first thing it's going to do is you're going to stop right here, move up for a second. And then once the blue floor comes in this area, they will move on to the next. So you click this and now you can choose, say you want seek and destroy. So they'll run here and destroy whatever they find. Here, actually, we'll do this first. We'll have them just to make sure they path the right way. I'll have a move here, and you click this again, and then seek and destroy there. So what's going to happen is Blue Four is going to move up, get into the area. These guys are going to move here first and wait because it's linked. See, they're going to wait right here. Once this once it's present, right? Once it's activated because Blue Four is in it, they're now going to move on to the next steps. So then they're going to move up, and then they're going to seek and destroy and fight. And Blue Four is just going to be chilling. All right. So that's that's very basic. So now to get in, you can click play up here, and you can do play in single player, play at camera position stuff like that and it will move your player but right now we don't have a player so it's not going to work so we're not actually using any so let's just put let's let's go civilian oh that's groups civilian <clears throat> and we'll just be a civ and we'll just wait right here we'll wait up here double click them set so as player so that so that in the scenario we're going to spawn in as him Later on, in for multiplayer, if you want to play co-op with your friend, you saw what I did before. You got to double click and you got to set them as playable, so that all of these will be spawn options or they'll, they'll all be character options. I'm gonna leave that alone. But right now, the player, which w if you have player set, it'll just act as another playable option later on. But right now, that's what you'll spawn as. <clears throat> so if you press enter. All right, so see these guys? They, they barely moved and now they're stopping. And they, this is why I kind of keep them in cover because they kind of move around a little bit. They don't really wait where you want them. So blue four is moving up. They should get into that position soon. And now they're in it, they're in it. So these guys are running up, right? So they just got in the area. These guys are now running up. Blue four is waiting and they're engaging. So this is so you can set up ambushes and obviously you can do this on bigger scales too. You can do it with vehicles, you know, you can do it with anything, but it's a little more complicated the bigger you get. So now they're all engaging. Alright, to get back out you just press escape, return to editor. Return to editor. That's a very I mean that's obviously a very basic tutorial, but it's kind of just to get people started, because it took me a bit to figure that out, even though it's so simple, right? You just I mean all you gotta do is right click and connect them and then that will happen. And you can learn things, you might even figure out things that I don't even know yet because I'm just messing around with it. And that's awesome, you know, it's just all trial and error. But a couple different things, I mean obviously, here's something, if you go blue four, just show you some random things. You take a little bird, right, you spawn in the little bird, it's going to spawn with people. 
I think, I mean, there should be a way to do it empty too. But this is a little easier. So if you want this empty, if you don't want people in it, all you gotta do is you see how this shows. You go over to Little Bird, it shows pilot and pilot. You can either click and drag them out, or you can just delete. Just put your mouse over it, delete. Right? And now you have yellow, that's an empty vehicle. So you have an empty Little Bird. What might happen though, Okay, that was weird. What might happen is it might be locked for you, so just double click it. See how it says lock right here? Unlock it. I had that issue one time where I tried to make it just a little little bird mission where I could fly around and I couldn't get in it. So you just gotta unlock it, that's all. You can delete that. Um, another thing, it's easy. See over here, if you press E accidentally, it's gonna get rid of that pane. So just press E again. But you can double click and it'll bring you to that squad. So if you have a lot of squads across a big area, don't don't go across the whole map like this. Just double click and it'll bring you to that area. Whoops. I'm screwing shit up. Alright. Um Intel. Click Intel up here. You can change the date, you can change the time, you can change weather, you know, you can make it raining, you can do all that good stuff. So you can make it overcast. Oh voila make it raining all that all that good stuff Put lightning in um, one last thing that might be helpful I think it's attributes Let's see if I'm right multiplayer and you can change respawns I have not figured out how to really make respawns work like respawning in one area with this one I don't know if it's buggy or what whatnot but if you click on this you can do switch to side member or switch to group member so that if you die you can pick another character just click on that and then you press OK I don't think this works when you're in this single player editor editor but it should work when you're in multiplayer I'm pretty sure it worked with me and my friend if it doesn't work yell at me you know that's a very basic little scenario that you can do so I hope that helped a little bit guys um, if you have questions you can put them down below I'm not all knowing on this. I'm just, this is what I've learned so far by messing around with it for way too many hours. So I hope to help and have a good day.